Hey guys, Felipe. Um, today I wanted to bring you a quick video on how to fix a certain problem some of you guys have been having um, with my latest video. Basically, if you have been following my recent, most recent videos, you'll know that some people, and that might include you, have been having problems with the 64-bit operating system. Usually it's um, either a Windows 7 or Windows Vista. Um, <clears throat> but I've mainly had w people that use Windows 7 complaining. Um, and basically what it is was that um, the thingy, the hack was not um, working within their program, so it's COD4 we were using for the hack. And what I got today was a PM from someone. I'm just going to move this here. Feel free to read it. And um, so I got a PM from a guy called Dobius1. Um, I'm pretty sure he's one of my subbies. And, um, you know, it was really nice of him to take the time to help me out sort this problem because I was about to install Windows 7 64 bit on my system to figure out what the problem was because I thought it was in the code. So basically what he says here was that I, because that um, is a C sharp injector and it was compiled for probably 86 bit only. Now he's assuming this but he's most likely right. It doesn't work. Oh sorry it was compiled for um, 32 bit only I meant. It doesn't work for 64 bit. Now as he says here, the person that compiled GX Inject should have chosen um, to have um, any CPU instead of the specific operating system that uh, he chose. So, um, what he's saying basically is that you can use any uh, injector. So now, I sh what I should have done, I should have given you something like Auto Inject or whatever. Sorry, my uh, thing is a bit slow. Should have given you something like Auto Inject or whatever, like here, to um, inject it into the system. Now. Um, I was doing this and I was get, getting help from Map232 to do this so credits to him as well because he was helping me out um, and um, basically what I, all I'm trying to tell you was that uh, the code was fine, the code that we did was fine right? but the problem was that the injector wouldn't work for 64 bits so what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to make a new tutorial where we'll <clears throat> I'll probably remake the whole um, the, uh, the wall hacks tutorial. Probably remake that whole thing. I mean, I don't re didn't really want to, but obviously I'll do it because I'm going to get a lot of questions even after I provide the solution on the on the thing. I know some people I like, but I'll probably redo that and um, you know take you guys through it. And obviously I won't do the earlier tutorials because I'll have to I'll have to just tell people to uh, use another injector because that one isn't good enough uh, for 64 bit. Anyways. So what what I'm going to put in your uh, description is this uh, three um, three files so it'll be all in one file so just download and extract it to whatever and test this out so if you're one of those people that were having problems with the 64-bit system you'll see that this is fixed immediately so if if you guys did my uh, DLL or how to hack any um, game tutorial the DLL part I actually wrote a, an injector there with you guys so if you can just cater that to whatever game you want because you can it's really simple. Uh, you can use that one if you like, that's fine. That way you don't have to download this one. If you want to do that, use that one. And that's not a problem at all because that works pretty well and it will work just fine um, as an alternative to GX Inject. Now, um, what I recommend you do is uh, you download this, um, run Auto Inject, and try it with your COD4. So, that's most, this is mostly for the people that were following my tutorial. Run it and then try in the game, and you'll see that it works just fine and it should work just fine. Um, if it doesn't, let me know. But <clears throat> I'm pretty sure Dobius one was right. So that's the fix for that and I'll probably make a video as soon as I can and I'll delete the old ones. Um so thanks to Dobius one and Map two thirty two for helping me out there. Um now something else as well, I'd just like to let you know a quick something as well before we go. So I'd just like to thank you guys for um <clears throat> all the subs I've been getting recently. I've been getting quite a lot of subs. Uh it's not many for some people but it does count a lot to me. So um I am just about to hit 200 subs, I think, um, and I'm also about to hit 200,000 views, so that's great as well. So I'd like to thank you guys for that, even though that was from one of my old videos that I deleted, um, a Left 4 Dead video, but that got me like 150,000 out of the full 200, but that doesn't matter. <clears throat> Uh, so thanks for that guys, I really appreciate you guys leaving feedback on my videos and um, let me know what you think of them. Um, and you know, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be doing this. So, just like to let you know that um, I do enjoy making these videos, and I really enjoy the feedback. So, uh, what I've got coming up—I mean, I'm going to be—as um, some of you guys know, I've been quite busy. But um, 
I will be working on making an ESP tutorial, so if you guys know that, uh, I might remake all my DirectX menu tutorials. I'm not sure about that yet, but I might do it because I don't want people constantly asking, you know, how to do this, and I want people to have as much of an easy experience as possible when doing these. Um, also, what I want, I'll probably let me know what you think of this. What I've got coming up is um, a how to crack any program tutorial. I haven't actually wrote that yet, but it it should be really simple. And I'm sure most of you guys can do this already. But I've been asked a couple of times, you know, how do you hack um, hack a program and how do you crack a program and so on. So I will be doing that. So let me know what you think of that if you're interested in that at all. I'll try and make that, you know, like my how to hack any game, but really straightforward and simple. Um, and put some code in there as well, because I'm sure some of you guys will want to see the code. Um, I'll have to find out if that will get me in trouble with YouTube or anything like that. But um, yeah, so I'd just like to leave you this quick video to let you guys know about this. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See ya.